Ritual Beast, War Rocks, a working theory, and Rika in the same video. What in the rogue? Make sure you guys smash your little crap out subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So Team Curry Bandit uploaded a first place Ritual Beast deck profile. Now, those are words that many of us have not heard in a very, very long time. And this is actually his list. So remember, this deck does function on the premise of, you see this good card, you do some pretty cheeky things to your opponent, and, well, you kind of leave your opponent in a really bad position. So, yes, this deck does have decent support going for it. And loops, brother. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Triple copies of Nibiru and triple copies of Gamma. you got to have your basic hand trap package. Uh, keep in mind, this did come out of a Locals, so kind of gathering down on this range of hand traps here will give you more of the necessary option pool to kind of stun your opponent. You also have triple copies of Elder. Pretty standard. I don't think I've ever seen them not play triple of this in their life. We have one Ritual Beast Tamer, one. One Zephyr Pilica. This is the additional name. Kind of need it. We have one Apelio, triple copies of Conahawk, one Petalfin with one Rimpengu. Then we have triple copies of the Spiritual Beast Tamer Winda. I think this is probably the best one we have. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, by battle of card effect, special summon one Ritual Beast monster from your deck or extra deck, ignoring summoning conditions. Huh. So technically they don't send any negates. We just ram this in and uh, we just start full combo and our opponent just looks at us and goes, Hmm, what am I supposed to do about that? Nothing. We have one driver, then we have one called by the grave, two cosmic cyclone, one dimensional fissure, one feather duster, triple extrav, traps, we have two ambush, triple steeds, and triple strike. I think that's pretty much been normalized at this point. Extra deck is missing one card, fill in with whatever you need, he only played 14. Then we have two copies of the Ritual Beast Ulti Kumo Falcos. So for those of you that don't know, Ritual Beast Monsters is card point two, it's 600 attack and defense. Easy peasy. All right, you can banish one Ritual Beast monster from your graveyard. Immediately after this effect resolves, you get to normal summon from your hand. Just one more Ritual Beast monster on the field. Sure, all day long. You can only use the effect of this once per turn. Quick effect, you can return this card to control the extra deck and then target two of your banished Ritual Beast monsters. Huh, and special summon them. It's almost like having a link to that acts like one of the fusions was a good idea. All right, this was a huge boost to the deck. We have one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Cerberus, one Boral Sword, one Access Machine, two Ulti Gaia Pelio, good cards, by the way. Triple Canna Hawk, two copies of the Ulti Pelio. Side deck here, we have Triple D Shifter. Hmm, another good card. This card actually is coming up in a lot of the metagame choices right now, like as a side deck option or a main deck option. And if you do see this on turn one of the game, you put your opponent in such a bad position that it's laughable. We have one Pankertops, triple copies of Inspector Border, one Cosmic Cyclone, one Anti-Spell Fragrance, one Macro, two copies of Mistake, and triple copies of the Solemn J-Man himself. Wrapping up, what is a very, very interesting concept behind this deck? I do love Ritual Beast as a deck. Unfortunately, they've been, as considering how fast the format has gotten over time and the power ceiling has been raised at this point, it is kind of hard to see this deck getting the chance to really succeed. And well, now that we've gotten the chance for this out there, this is actually very nice to see. So I'm actually very happy to see Ritual Beast getting some love out there. Next up, oh boy, <sighs> you guys love Rika, right? You guys just love being able to use a flower engine, take advantage of the opponent, put very big monsters on the field. Uh, Rika Queen here gives you the ability to tribute your opponent's stuff for no reason whatsoever. And then just build a big plant board, right? Well, this is the deck for you. This is plant generators with... Uh, Oh, this has synergy. This stupid card. Add a Tarantula Tribute from your deck to your hand. If a water monster or monsters you control will be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Your, <laughs> your entire plant engine here for the back end is all water. So you can end on Rika Queen, 
Uh, what else? Uh, the Kangashi here is also water. So you can just make these tributaries. You can just blow up your opponent's entire field and then just laugh at them because you have Fury down. That's actually disgusting. Holy crap. So, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. One copy of Erica, the Rika Fairy. Triple copies of Evil Thorn. One Fairy Archer in Noir. Uh, one copy of Har, uh, triple copies of Lone Fire Blossom, basic stuff. One Mardell, triple copies of Mudan, two copies of Primola, triple copies of Petal, one copy of Rose Girl. If a face up plant monster or monsters you control sent to the graveyard, except doing damage, you have to special summon this card from your hand. If a plant monster is on your field and this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. This is just a stupid extender when you link out. That's really good. We have triple copies of Snowdrop, one Spore, then of course we have one World Carrot Weight Champion. Uh, where there's a plant deck, this guy's usually a mile behind, but today he's here. We have one Foolish Barrel, two copies of Fury of the Kyrshin, uh, one copy of Generator Boss Stage, one Monster Reborn, one One for One, triple copies of Rika Glamour, then we have one Rika Sheet, one Tranquility, and two <laughs> Torrential Tribute. I still cannot believe that you can just set up a full field and just laugh at your opponent. Like, that's hilarious. We have one Sun Avalon Dryas. Keep in mind that it's just one level four lower plant monster to make this. So, yeah, it, it's still a link one for you. So, you can pop off, drop a spore, do some shenanigans. We have one Verte, one uh, Aromatherapy Jasmine. And then we have what? One Rika Queen? Yeah. One Princess Sprite, one Hypertom, one Strena, one Aurea, one Kenzashi, one Enguar, uh, one Alse, one Thorns, and then we have this exclusive. So it's one tuner plus one or more non tuner. Gains 400 attack for each plant monster you control. So it gets buff. Alright, during your main phase, you can special summon one level 5 or higher plant monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Free extenders. It's always a good thing. Then we have Super Poly Targets of Starving Venom and Dragus Tapelia. Then we have one Pankratops, Triple Gadarla, one Raigeki, Triple Super Poly, Triple Twin Twisters, Triple Evenly Matched, and one copy of Red Reboot. Wrapping up Sam's very hot take. I do like this deck a lot. Like, this is awesome. This is a new level of synergy. Man, I like this. And the last list I have for you guys is some new Wall Rocks. Hi, right, this is Ben Smolin's list. Featuring, hmm, some very interesting new love. So we have two copies of Bashilios, triple copies of Fortia, two copies of Galactos. Remember, this is your extender. This is probably the best card we got going for us. Then we got the new stuff here. So Warrog Meteor Drag cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Check. When an attack is involved, de or declared involving this card in an opponent's monster, you negate the effects of the opponent's monsters this turn. So you just get to negate whatever it's battling. Sure. All right, as well as activated effects uh, on the field of monsters with the same original name. Sure. Once per turn, during a battle in which your Earth Warrior Monster attack quick effect, you can make all Warrock monsters gain 200 attack till the end of your opponent's turn. Also, this thing can attack twice. So it's 2,800. Okay. That's cute. Uh, then we have one Skylar. Then we got the new one, Wento. If your Earth Warrior monster battles an opponent's monster, except during damage calculate or during damage calculation, pay 100 light points. Your battling monster gains 800 attack till the end of the turn. Okay, so that gets buff. That's nice. If card is sent from the monster zone of the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon a level five or higher War Rock monster from your hand or deck. Self replacement. Check. We also have Triple Droll Logbird, and then we got this good card. So War Rock Dignity. You have to control War Rock monster to activate either of these effects. When a monster your opponent controls activates its effect, negate that effect. During the battle phase, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card or monster effect, negate that effect. Okay, really good. We have Triple Soldier, or War Rock Mountain to search. Two copies of Spirit for, guess what, Special Summon Extender. We have one Rota, one Terraforming, Triple Pot of Extravagance. Then we have two Generations. So during the battle phase, if your opponent controls more monsters than you, Special Summon a War Rock monster from your deck, and if you activated this card during your opponent's turn for the rest of this turn while you control this face up special summon monster, your opponent's monster cannot attack except for that monster. Hmm. So they're going to have to go all attack the big guy. Yeah, big things happen here. We have two Ice Dragon's Prison, Triple Torrential Tribute, Triple Trap Trick, and one Metaverse. Then we have two Tornado Dragon, two Baguskis, 
two Abyss Dweller, two Furious Swordsman, triple is sold, one Fossil Void, and triple Anentis. So then we have triple Contact C, triple Gamma, one Driver, triple Twin Twisters, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Scythe, and triple Sanctum. Wrapping up Sam, or a very interesting theory list here. I do like this a lot. So what do you guys think about these lists? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Smash your love and crap out. Subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool awesome content. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanco 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mco 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcoolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.